Mr Napier, my lady. What a surprise. I'm afraid you've just missed my aunt. I know. I watched her leave. How are your wedding plans going? Not very well. In fact, we've decided to call it off. Really? Well, it seemed quite fixed at Sybil's ball. What a shame. Please. It'll be better in the long run. Perhaps. I know what high hopes you have of the institution. The thing is, Lady Mary, I, I'm here today because I needed to tell you something face to face before you went to the country. Face to face? Gracious me. I've recently heard gossip about the time when I came to Downton with Kamal Pamuk. Gossip that I believe has made life difficult for you. I've also heard it said that I am the source of these stories. It is very important to me that you should know that I am not. From that day to this, I have never spoken one word on the matter. Then who did? It seems to have come from the Turkish embassy. From the ambassador himself, in fact, and his wife. But who told them, if not you? This is the hard part. When I discovered the answer, I debated whether I should relay it, but in the end, I feel you ought to know. The suspense is killing me. It was your sister, Lady Edith, who wrote to the ambassador. That is why people accept the story. Edith. It is very hard to believe. Harder for you than for me. Is it true you wrote to the Turkish ambassador about Kamal? Who told you? Someone who knows that you did. Then why are you asking? Because I wanted to give you one last chance to deny it. Then what if I did? He had a right to know how his countrymen died. In the arms of a slut. I don't seem to be able to find your sister. I wonder where she is. Of course, she may have been cornered. I know there was some old boar she was trying to dodge. Who was that? I'm not sure. He's simply ghastly, apparently. But he's promised to propose today. I can't tell you how funny she was when she acted it out. She ought to go on the stage. Really? <sighs> oh, amusing. You can't be leaving yet. I'm afraid I must. Please, make my excuses to your mother. But... Uh... You're down early. No, I'm not. Where's Henry? He's gone. What? He had something in London this evening and he wanted to get back. I have a mass of letters to write. I'm sorry Lord Grantham's left. Why particularly? Because we've got some news. And I was waiting for Mary to join us. It's not the right moment. Carson, could we have some more coffee, please? Why isn't it the right moment? Well, Henry's abandoned you. No, he hasn't. I wanted him to go. That's not what it looked like. Well, that's how it is. There's no need for this. Edith, if your news is good, then we are very happy for you both. Aren't we, Mary? <sighs> See? I told you. The one thing Mary can't bear is when things are going better for me than for her. I'm sure that's not true. You don't know her. 
I'm getting married and you've lost your man and you just can't stand it. Edith, there is no need. You're wrong. I'm very happy for you. And I admire you, Bertie. Not everyone would accept Edith's past. Mary, don't. What do you mean? Well, you must have told him. You couldn't accept him without telling him. Tell me what? About Marigold. Who she really is. Marigold is my daughter. Will you excuse me? Going away? Do you care? Look, I wasn't to know you hadn't told him. It never occurred to Just me... Just shut up! I don't know what's happened. Tom's made you feel bad. Or Papa. Or maybe it's just the same old Mary. He wants her cake and hate me too. I never meant to... Yes, you did! Who do you think you're talking to? Mama? Your maid? I know you. I know you to be a nasty, jealous, scheming bitch. Now listen, you pathetic... You're a bitch! And not content with ruining your own life, you're determined to ruin mine. I have not ruined my life. And if Bertie's put off by that, then... Don't demean yourself by trying to justify your venom. Just go. And you're wrong, you know, as you so often are. Henry's perfect for you. You're just too stupid and stuck up to see it. Still, at least he's got away from you, which is something to give thanks for, I suppose. Is everybody ready? What is this? This is my cousin Mary. She says she's got a surprise for us. You'll love her. I intend to love everybody. Ready or not, I'm coming in. Negri comes to Yorkshire. Well, we really are living in the modern world. Golly, I'm jealous. Mary, this is Atticus Aldridge. At last, Mr Aldridge. Rose has talked of nothing else. Oh, she's only teasing. Can't I take it as a compliment? <laughs> Granny, what do you think? Oh, it is you. I thought it was a man wearing your clothes. It suits you. Papa, do you agree? It's certainly just the sort of thing I would expect of you. I suppose you disapprove. Not especially. I'm just amazed that even you would choose the day after I learn the man I love is dead to try out a new fashion. I don't believe that's quite fair. And if that weren't enough, you've planned a jolly picnic for Saturday. Am I really expected to join in? Hopefully not, as you usually spoil everything. <sighs> yes, I do. It seems I do. Good night, Mama. I'll have a tray in my room. I'm sorry, Mr Aldridge, but you might as well know what we're like.